Hello everyone, my name is Eric Bell and I'm the singing team manager for the English Broadside Ballad Archive. I'm here in the Early Modern Center at UCSB and today I will be talking about how to sing an Early Modern Broadside Ballad. As most of you watching this video probably already know, ballad poetry was often meant to be sung to a particular folk tune of the day. This is where the present day singer first runs into problems. Any early modern English person would have possibly grown up hearing and learning these tunes throughout childhood. Most of these tunes, however, are no longer popularly sung, with the exception of green sleeves. The first step to singing a broadside ballad, then, is to memorize the tune. There are a couple of ways to go about this. For music readers, if you can find a notated version of the tune, you can read through it a couple of times, sing through it, and learn it that way. For those who do not read music, you will need to find a recording of someone playing and singing the tune and hum through it, sing through it a little bit that way. Regardless of which method you end up using, I recommend a lot of repetition. Here we have the top part of page 513 from the National Library of Scotland's Crawford Collection. As you can see, the music is printed and the text of the first stanza has been pretty closely underlaid to that music. I will now hum through this melody, which is called Lily Berlero for the very first part of the refrain. And I'll do this a couple times before we start adding some words. And just for good measure, we'll do it another time. Okay, now that we've gone through this a couple of times, we can start adding the words. Oh, brother T, dost hear the decree, Lily Berlero Berlin Allah, dat we shall have a new debity, Lily Berlero Berlin Allah. Lara, 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 Lily Berlero Berlin Allah. Lara, 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 Lily Berlero Berlin Allah. Now that we've sung the first stanza as it was correctly underlaid to the music, let's try this tune on some of the other stanzas that are not underlaid. So we'll be I'll be singing through this these first three right here on the left column. Oh, by my shore it is a hmm, Lily Berlero Berlin Allah, and he will cut the English trot. Lily Bolero Bolin Allah. Lara, 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 Lily Bolero Bolin Allah. Lara, 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 Lily Bolero Bolin Allah. And the next one. Though by my shoulder the English do pret, Lily Bolero Bolin Allah. The laws on their side and Christ knows what. Lily Berlero Bolin Allah. Lero, 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 Lily Berlero Bolin Allah. Lero, 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 Lily Berlero Bolin Allah. And this last one we'll be singing for this video. But if dispense do come from the Pope, Lily Berlero Bolin Allah will hang Magno Carto and themselves in a rope. 
Lily Bolero bowling along. La ra la ro la ro la ra lily bolero bowling along. La ra la ro la ro la ra lily bolero bowling along. To summarize what I've done so far, first I found a tune, fortunately with the text to the first stanza more or less correctly underlaid. Before even worrying about that text, however, I hummed through the tune a couple of times. Once I was a little bit more comfortable and familiar with the tune, then I was able to start fitting that tune to the text. As you may have noticed with the fourth stanza, the third line had too many syllables, making things a little bit awkward. As is often the case with many of these early modern ballads, the poetic rhythm can contain a lot of irregularities, anywhere from too many or too few syllables to unevenly placed strong syllables. The singer's job is then to navigate through these rough spots and figure out a way to make the tune fit as smoothly as possible. These next two clips show ballad singer Rachel Short and me recording a ballad and some of the problems we ran into. Thou had seven hundred wives at once for whom thou didst provide. For all this three hundred whores thou didst maintain beside. And those made thee forget thy God and worship stocks and stones. Besides the charge they put thee to in breeding of young bones. Hadst thou not been out of thy wits thou wouldst have... Okay, I'll let you find that. Wits have... Then out of thy wits thou wouldst not have ventured, and therefore I do marvel much how you this place have entered. Okay. That way we get to save all of the, we don't have to stress any weird syllables there. Okay. Okay, ready? Hadst thou not been out of thy wits, thou wouldst not have ventured, and therefore I do marvel much how you this place have entered. I never heard quoth Jonas then so vile a scold as this. Thou art not without fault, quoth she, thou hast likewise, thou hast... <laughs> you can see where the problems all are. Yeah, thou hast likewise done amiss. Uh -huh. And you're going to have to crunch a couple of syllables there. Okay. Let's see where I, I'll find where we need to stop. What are you crunching? Thou hast could be thou could say thou Yeah. Thou hast likewise done amiss. Thou hast likewise done amiss. That would be common. Thou Oh, that works. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, do To conclude, singing a broadside ballad can be summarized in three steps. Number one. Learn the tune if you don't already know it. Number two, fit the tune to a text. Number three, be prepared to deal with any inconsistencies or irregularities you might, or actually most definitely will run into in that text. And if I can add a fourth step, have fun. Because if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong.